Hi, guys. I'm going to talk up in my voice over voice so I don't sound like some kind of mucosal lady. But um, I just wanted to say that there's a reason this group exists. Morgan, um, if I were watching anybody else doing this, I would hate it too. But um, I'm going to just pretend that it's just us talking and uh, then I won't hate it so much. And in Josh's deleted video today, there were um, there was a reference to Nipsey Russell. I'm going to come back to that. And then, then in his reposted video, there was a reference to Bruschetta. I have an issue with that. I think everybody should say Bruschetta and not Bruschetta. It's not Bruschetta. It's Bruschetta. Um, but anyway, back to Nipsey Russell. I think what Michael and Sam were talking about with the IMDb pages just stopping was basically the issue is what do I fucking do if I can't be an, a showbiz person? What do I do? And um, I will argue, Nipsey Russell figures in this, I will argue that... Um, there's nothing for you to do unless you know how to hand make something and sell it on the internet. Otherwise, you're screwed. But I'm going to tell you a little anecdote about back in the early days of Late Night with Conan O'Brien, uh, Nipsey Russell was, they had him on the show a lot to do little bit parts. And um, I don't want to say they used him. <laughs> I want to say that that it was a mutual thing. I think Nipsey enjoyed it a lot, and I did some bits with him too, and uh, back when it was very casual, <laughs> anybody like me could just walk on and do a comedy bit on <laughs> network television. Um, but Nipsey was really, it, he was the, the paradigm of the person who is in show business, and really, if there hadn't been show business, there wouldn't have been anything for him to do in life. He would have been monumentally screwed, which I think is the, it's the other side of the truncated IMDb page that we're talking about. Um, he was on the show one night, and Andy told me that uh, he was paneling it was back when Nipsey Russell was bailing on a, a late night show. And he had he crossed his legs like men do and he, he put his ankle over his knee and he had those like thin nylon men's socks on, old man socks on, and he had a big block of currency tucked into his sock. And Andy was like, Nipsey, what why do you have all this currency in your sock? And he said, Oh, well, I get all the pockets sewn out of my clothes because then I can write them off as costumes because then it is all a write-off. If I write, you know, if I sew out the pockets, then I don't have pockets. They're not real clothes. They're just costumes. And I was thinking, when Andy told me this, I was like, that is genius. I need to do that with all my clothes and then I can write them off. And Nipsey was living in an SRO hotel in Times Square, which is, uh, it's not standing room only, it's um, single room occupancy. And he'd been living in this hotel, it's like a residential hotel, and NYU bought it, but they, and turned it into dorms, but they had to grandfather in all the people who um, already live there. So basically you could have been an NYU student, NYU student in the mid to late 90s and had Nipsey Russell be your sweet mate, which I think is kind of awesome. I would have liked that a lot. Um, but that's the kind of dedication that you have to show, I think, to show business. And I think in this day and age, we're paid less for various things. So you have to hyphenate and you have to splinter and you have to diversify and find different ways to make money. And um, I don't know.
and sort of believe in all of us. I think we can do that. I, um, I'm not troubled by it so much. Hmm. Thanks. I like you guys. And Steve Agee.